Hey everybody, this is Melissa. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you take just a moment and click the subscribe button, and that way you'll be the first to know when I upload a new tutorial. I'm so excited you're all here, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to show you how to align, order, and group objects in Word. And this comes in really handy if you've created a bunch of text boxes like I have, and they're kind of all over the place, and you want to align them and move them and move your picture and format some different things like that. The first thing I want to do is take Word, Excel, and PowerPoint and kind of put them in a straight line and over to the right. So if we click on one of them and hold our Shift key and select all three of these, and we go to our Layout, tab, we can go to align, and we have many options in here. We can go left, right, center, with the margins to the page, top, bottom, but I'm just going to tell it to the right. And now as you can see, Word and Excel are running together, and there's a lot of space between Excel and PowerPoint. So the next thing I want to do is say evenly space these for me. So we'll go back to align, and we want to tell it to distribute vertically. And as you can see, it's now evenly spaced them. So let's say that we're going to work with these a little bit later in our document. Either we're going to have to copy and paste them, or we're going to move them, or something like that. It would be a little bit harder and a lot more tedious to do these one box at a time. So I'm going to group these together so that it's one box that can be moved, copied, and pasted and whatever as a group rather than individual boxes. So let's go to group and group. That easy. And now we can move it as one unit. We can make this bigger as one unit. We can make it smaller. And we can put it wherever we want it. So now I have a picture down here. And let's say that I want to put this picture behind these boxes. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have it on in front of text. So if we move it, as you can see, it covers up all of my other text boxes because the objects as you add them are ordered. So what we want to do is we want to send this back so that it goes behind all of the other boxes or objects. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Send Backward, and let's click it. And as you can see, it only sent it back one layer because our MS Office Tutorials is showing, but our other boxes that are Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are still hidden behind the picture. So what we need to do is go to Send Backwards and tell it to send it to the back, and that will send it behind all other objects on the page. And now I have my Word, Excel, PowerPoint visible, and I have my MS Office tutorials visible. Now let's just say that we love this image, but we want to flip it. All of our shapes and stuff are hidden here. So let's say that we want all of this to be over here and the solid part to be over here. So if we go to rotate with the picture selected, if we go to rotate and tell it to flip horizontal, it just flipped that picture. Now we can also go in and tell it to flip vertical, and then it flips it upside down. And now I've got it set up, and I like the way that my boxes look, and I like the way that my background looks. So this Word document is ready to go. And that is how you align, order, and group objects in Word. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. And I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.